A lot of people are confused about my hostility against the autism awareness movement. It seems like common sense to support it, at least for most people. As if there's no alternative direction for autistic people. I will explain this by explaining why I find more important being autistic. You can't even dislike something if you don't first like something. There's a lot of myths about us. The biggest misconception about autistic people is that autistic people lack social skills. This is extremely dehumanizing, as it implies that autistic people can't and shouldn't make friends or relationships. And moreover, this claim has been debunked by double empathy. Double empathy is the effect in which autistic people communicate with each other just fine, but have trouble communicating with neurotypicals and vice versa. This actually makes a lot of sense, since autistic people have no one but neurotypicals to talk to. It is important for these three implications. First of all, we can't not be social with each other. Not social in the authoritarian or conformist sense necessarily, but in the sense of relating to other people. In this case, autistic people because of double empathy. Secondly, there was most likely an autistic society before, which explains why autistic people could have evolved to communicate in a way contrary to neurotypicals. Otherwise, we would have been replaced by smart neurotypicals before the modern autistic even evolved as they would have better communication between neurotypicals. This is the society of the Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons according to the autistic Neanderthal theory. Third of all, true autistic psychology is unknown. Keep in mind that double empathy affects nurture and is strengthened by language and society. Thus, an autistic society is necessary to understand true autistic psychology. Because of this, I would go as far as to say calling autistic people disabled is offensive. Now, when I say the word disabled is offensive, I mean disabled in a very specific context. Of course, autistic people can and are disabled by ABA special education and social isolation. While we should make ourselves responsible for creating a civilization greater than that of the neurotypicals, we do need to be aware of how we've been disabled and how to overcome it. To say autistic people are disabled because they're autistic, however, is offensive because it makes things like learned helplessness and depression seem normal. Autism awareness goes a step further and treats autistic people as mentally ill. The main tenet of autism awareness is that being autistic and almost everything that comes from being autistic is necessarily bad. This could be because of some creepy ideology, ignorance, profit lust, or even that autistic people have strong morality and a larger prefrontal cortex. Nonetheless, this leads to eugenics and misinformation, which means that autistic people have been denied even a chance of building civilization. Our current representation is quite a betrayal. Imagine representing Japan with a puzzle piece calling Muslims disabled, or teaching Europeans with an infantilizing art style. Now, to be fair, autistic people haven't independently made civilization, or have had a real culture, at least not in recorded history. But autistic people have contributed a lot to society. Look at Einstein, Tesla, Newton. But moreover, autism awareness is an insult to civilization in general. For us to build a civilization that is truly our own will take at least generations. But now, thanks to the narrative of autism awareness, it might take generations to convince anyone that autistic people should be allowed to build civilization. Autism awareness is thus killing a civilization before it is even born. Now, there's a lot of reasons not to like autism awareness, which I could devote an entire channel to, and a small part of this channel will. But for people just wondering what the deal is, this is why I oppose autism awareness in the quickest and broadest explanation.